Hi, we all know very well that Splunk is a global leader right now in the market in terms of log monitoring, observability, or even for cloud services as well. But you will be having a doubt whether you are already working in Splunk or you are a person where you want to learn Splunk newly. What will be the future of this Splunk and that too in 2025 especially? If you have that question, what will be the future of this Splunk? First of all, you have to understand what Splunk itself is specifying and what Splunk is going to focus in 2025. So Splunk is specifying that it is going to focus on five primary key areas in 2025. So these five primary key areas are the first one is integrating artificial intelligence. The second thing is that it will be focusing on digital resilience and third thing is that it will be focusing on regulatory compliance and the fourth thing is that it will be focusing on collaboration with the vendors and the fifth thing is that it will be focusing on observability data utilization. So it is specifying that it is going to be focusing on these five primary key areas. So if you consider the first point, artificial intelligence integration, Splunk is primarily going to focus to integrate artificial intelligence with the machine learning so that it can handle more effectively whatever the threat detection is there or incident handling is there along with other security issues. We can always consider that this is a good move because artificial intelligence is the thing that is ruling the world right now. If Splunk also can implement artificial intelligence along with threat detection and it can address more effectively whatever the security issues are there. So it would be a great thing by utilizing this particular artificial intelligence. The second thing is the digital resilience. Splunk is going to help the organizations in providing digital solutions or digital technologies for the particular stakeholders or for the particular end users where they can use the applications more effectively and the features whatever Splunk is providing them they can use more effectively and they can move forward in that particular way. So that is what Splunk is specifying that it is going to help with the digital resilience for the particular organizations. The third thing it is focusing is on the regulatory compliance. Whenever I say regulatory compliance Splunk is going to help the organizations to provide regulatory compliance issues such as data privacy issues and other security mandates as well. So it is basically going to help with these particular regulatory compliance issues which will be a great thing even for the organizations as well. And the fourth thing is that it will be collaborating with the vendors. So Splunk is again focusing on collaborating with the particular vendors and it is going to help the particular organizations to collaborate with the technology partners so that they can bring new features and new applications for the end users so that they can make use of those applications and features more effectively. And the last but not the least one, the fifth point is the observability data utilization. So again Splunk is focusing on the utilizing data, especially observability data so that it can effectively gain deep insights into application performance, enabling proactive optimization and development decisions as well. So these are the five primary key areas where Splunk is going to focus in 2025. Having specified this, it is clearly evident that Splunk is focusing on whatever the new era technologies are there, just like artificial intelligence or observability data utilization or the digital resilience which will be a great help where it can move further even though it is a global leader right now in the market. So we can always consider that Splunk will be having more future analysis and it is going to move to a further extent and the scope of the Splunk also clearly defined. So now it is our turn to grab the new features whatever Splunk is specifying or it is providing and to master those features 
so that we will be having more job opportunities both for freshers as well as for the experienced people who are already working in Splunk itself. Please like, share and subscribe this particular channel so that it will be useful for others and especially please share this video so that it will be beneficial for others as well. This is all in this particular video and again we will be meeting with another topic. Until then have a great time. Bye bye.